it's happened so many times that people insinuate or people sometimes tell you you know you should be thankful because so many other people would be happy to have this job again does this sound familiar this is something that we saw in the devil wears prada Top 10 signs that your dream job in fashion has actually turned into a nightmare. Fashion can be fun and glamorous. You're surrounded by beautiful materials. It allows you to travel. You get to participate in fancy social events. You meet a lot of very interesting people. It's fulfilling to see something from a sketch to a prototype. And of course, it's very rewarding when you hear that your customers are satisfied. However, all these perks and privileges that I've just mentioned come at a price. And sometimes that price is just a little bit too much. Today, I want to share with you some of the horror stories that unfortunately continue to be told within creative industries. I know they're true because I live through them myself. Unfortunately, creative industries like fashion are notorious for being toxic workplaces sometimes and they're run by untouchable genius bosses. If you think about movies like The Devil Wears Prada, well, there are a basis for such characters. In today's video, I want to tell you some of the signs that you need to start watching out for, okay? Some of the language, both verbal and nonverbal that will tell you that maybe your dream job is becoming your official nightmare and at that maybe some choices need to be made first when your boss starts using threatening language what does that sound like you can't do this or else or you can't trust anyone here or you have no friends here this is a major red flag your workplace is becoming toxic and unhealthy while you might not find your BFF in the the workplace it should be a place where you find some a good amount of peace of mind you should feel secure you spend most of your hours within a day in the workplace so it needs to be a place where you feel generally okay when you are part of a team this calls for a sense of trust if you're told that you can't trust anyone then something must be very wrong at the core of that environment second the culture of fear when you know notice that nobody really questions anything when you have that feeling like you can't speak up without facing grave consequences or that when you know a suggestion is not particularly welcome especially in a creative environment people should be encouraged to share their ideas so you know this is again one of those signs when you see that everyone just work with their heads slow and nobody makes any observation nobody questions anything then that is another sign third sign when your commitment to the job basically equated with the number of holidays or leaves that you give up it's one thing to be dedicated to your job but it's another thing to be a slave for it holidays and leaves are mandated by law for a reason regardless of how much you love your job you're supposed to take care of yourself first and you shouldn't be made to feel guilty when you make that choice so again when you're asking for a leave and you're being made to feel like you're doing something wrong then that is another sign that you need to be watching out for four when you catch yourself constantly talking about how strange or how off things are and i can tell you this for a fact because when I was in that situation, it reached a point when even the waiters of the restaurants or the places we would frequent were actually familiar with the people we worked with or with the dynamic in the workplace. So this is just to tell you how everything had become so much a part of our conversations, a part of our regular conversations. And at that point, you want to ask yourself, well, why am I allowing this reality or this person to take up so much of my energy and so much of my thoughts? 
you know, because that is inherently what it means when you can't stop talking about how strange or how wrong things are. Then, when you catch yourself saying, hmm, that's just how things are, I don't need to be part of it. Honestly, I made that mistake myself. I told myself, it's the culture, I can distance myself, I don't have to be part of it. Well, the truth is, at a certain point, you do need to make that choice it, because you can't normalize something that is inherently wrong. You either exit or if you stay there at some point, you are going to start condoning certain things and you're going to be part of that exact same culture that you've been very critical of. Then, when you have to rush through your meal breaks to get back just because you don't want your boss to see that you're not on your desk yet before he or she gets back. Now again, or when you sign an employment contract, you are given the right to certain breaks with the duration of how long each break should be and you should really take advantage of that, okay? When you find yourself in a culture where everybody's just rushing through their meals because you're all rushing to go back there because nobody wants to be the last one in, even if you're still well within your lunch hour, then again, that is an indication that something is very wrong because you are not supposed to feel guilty about looking after yourself or in this case, taking a break to have your meal. Then, when any effort to improve in the process of how things done is turned down, okay? Because things have always been run this way. Again, unfortunately, this is very common and this shows that the company is not really interested in growth and development. And what that means for you is that they're not really looking after your growth and development either. So the question is, do you really wanna stay in a stagnant environment in a place that does not first see or does not promote your own growth again that's something you want to think about before things are too late a culture of gratitude now it's fine to be grateful in fact personally this is something that i try to practice but you should be thankful, yes, but you should not be made to feel guilty if you're constantly reminded that you should be thankful for your job, okay? It's happened so many times that people insinuate or people sometimes tell you, you know, you should be thankful because so many other people would be happy to have this job. Again, does this sound familiar? This is something that we saw in the Devil Wears Prada. Yes, a lot of other people would probably be happy to have your job, but that is not an excuse for people to abuse you. Remember that you got your job because you are qualified. You don't owe anyone anything. The company needs you and that's why they hired you. So if you are ever given this kind of a remark or if this is insinuated in your company to a certain extent, then remind yourself that you have every right to be there and your thoughts are just as legitimate and just as valid. So if you think something is not right and if you feel like it, the time has come to complain about something, then you should do that. Do not let people to disempower you when it comes to asking for more because obviously this is your right as well. When you find yourself in a place that is extremely high that you are constantly reminded of your place. What does this look like? I'll tell you a story that remains very vivid in my memory today. I remember one of the first few things I had to do when I was hired was to fax certain documents. And I was just asking one of my colleagues for the number so that I could fax the documents myself and I, I wanted to learn how to use the fax machine. And I was told that no, this is her job because because she's the secretary and it is her job, not my job, to fax documents. I wasn't sure if you know, that was supposed to be a gesture of kindness on my behalf because they said, you know, don't bother with administrative th things like that. But then I made myself clear. I said, no, actually, personally, I would like to learn because I want to be able to do things on my own. And, you know, unless I'm super busy, I'd really like to do this on my own. But again, this person insisted that I hand over all these documents so that the secretary could fax everything for me because she repeated, she's the secretary 
she is the one who takes care of these things so there obviously during that time i didn't realize what was happening but this is exactly what it is when you're constantly reminded of your place in the office then again that is something you need to be watching out for and finally the 10th sign is when your maternity announcement practically becomes a career death sentence now what does that look like well that can happen in very many forms but you know when you announce that you were expecting and you get a very different reaction from all the other congratulatory reactions that you get from family and friends and you know way after that if you feel like the environment you work in has suddenly turned hostile then you'll be able to tell that your decision has obviously had something to do with all these negative changes so there the top 10 signs that your dream job has officially become a nightmare i wanted to share these with you because again i've lived through most of these and unfortunately I continue to hear about how these things are still happening and they don't have to. If you find yourself resonating with any of these signs then I'm here to tell you you don't have to live with it. There are many other companies out there that will be very happy to have you to have a talented person such as yourself and of course if you feel like this is true for most of the companies that you've seen out there, then I'm here to tell you, you can also evaluate other options. Personally, what I've done from this experience is that I've invested in upskilling and I've really tried to understand what it is that makes me happy and what it is that I'm good at. And from there, I've moved towards a di slightly different direction. I continue to use the skills, the experience, that I've gained from the fashion industry but when I realized that I didn't have to stay there then that's when I was able to finally feel that freedom and to be more creative to express myself and to really do something that personally and professionally rewarding for me so I hope you learned from today's video I look forward to seeing you again next week